Hello, everyone. And welcome to a What's Old Saturday. Yes, welcome to uh, What's Old Saturday on uh, June 3rd. 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 I forgot what day June it was for two minutes. Duh, because this is the week of the 27th through the 2nd, so happy June 3rd. Can you tell that it's the end of the school year? I am mentally, <laughs> actually, literally, spiritually just cooked. Yes. The reason Saturday. I couldn't remember what day it was is actually because this week we are filming What's Old Saturday a day before we mm -hmm. normally would. On Friday. Not fully 24 hours before, but maybe around around like 18, 16 hours before we normally would. Mm -hmm. So just know that there's a tiny chance that the not so great a week of sales that we had <laughs> still has a little bit more time to pick there's up. There's always possibly. hope. And if we get anything magical in the next couple hours, we will obviously I could like, edit in a clip. Yeah. If we're yeah. like out at dinner, I'll just be like, hey, we're at Applebee's I, and I just made a $10,000 sale. Can you yeah. imagine? I'm at Chili's I and I just sold a $40,000 Airbus. I wish. I'd just be screaming on <laughs> the top of my Chili's like table, just standing. I wish! I won. So this week is the week of the 27th to the 2nd, like I said, so welcome to June. This week was uh, not that great of a sales week. Also, as I just said, actually on eBay, I had probably, no, not even probably. I definitely had a much better week than mm -hmm. Posh. So before we get into Posh sales, I definitely have a couple eBay sales to talk about. I have none from any other platform. This was my last week of school and it was busy. so, okay, now busy, while we're taking busy, the time to busy. do this, I can say this. I am leaving this middle school that I'm at because my job got defunded which like from the arts all those wonderful things um and i moved to a middle school elementary school excuse me so i'm like from a middle school to an elementary school. we go from six eight to k5 and i look exhausted because all i've been doing the past like week is clearing out all my stuff and cleaning my classroom and getting things ready to kind of like hand off to the next whoever is going to be in that space next year and i'm beat man i'm mm -hmm. tired I'm exhausted. Oh yeah, and uh, since we're on a topic of that, um, just so you guys know, I'll, actually a couple of you guessed absolutely correctly, Brian's little nose scratchies are from this guy right here. Will is asleep. He's asleep, so I don't want to like wake him up, but it's it's Will. It's We were puppy. roughhousing one night and he got me. Puppy love. It's okay, we went to the doctor, I don't have sepsis, nothing suspected, <laughs> my face isn't gonna fall he off. He just has scurvy, I mean that's it. Can, it's I, not that big oh, of a deal, it's just. It's my leprosy, <laughs> man, it just. Oh, His left up. leg fell off, but they said, and, and that's uphill from there. It's, it's everything gets better. This is the upswing. So. <laughs> yes. Oh lord. This is from school though. I was yeah. So this is the week that I've been having. On Tuesday, we finished our clay projects and like did the big clean out and yada yada yada. And I was putting away these shelves and I took like one too many and one of them just like tipped over. Bonk. And just dunk and the yeah. corner just got me. And Will broke my glasses, which mm -hmm. is awesome. So I have no glasses. I look like this. He did not need new glasses anyways. I did need to get a new prescription. Didn't get them last year, so definitely no, not. No, I know. Anyways. But I look a little worse for the wear right now. And also I've been cleaning the house today because we have company coming over tomorrow. Which is what, full circle. Which is why we're filming a day early. Because we have we company didn't... coming over tomorrow. <laughs> we rambled so much that I forgot what I even had started. Look at That's that. That's why we're filming a day early. But anyways, <sighs> we probably should get into sales versus just like our personal jib jab. I hope that you guys enjoyed like the videos this week. And I hope that yeah. some of you checked out the second channel video yesterday. I just want to re-remind about that. We mm -hmm. went to an antique trade show last Sunday and we made a little vlog we found some really really good stuff I at really good treasures, prices treasures. that went up yesterday on the second channel i'll actually link that exact video below instead of like the second channel itself in case you're interested mm -hmm. but it'll be so much fun there's Go another watch. thing that's going to be linked below and that's the valentine vip so the valentine vip Look of the week transition. who is the first link below is actually a good Judy. It's Kathleen. Miss Kathleen, Kathleen is probably the her. nicest person in my comment section on she Instagram. Is a very kind. Human Every human. post mm -hmm. I make, she like right away is just like, "You guys are doing so good. She's I love so you guys." Supportive. She's so nice. So, so Kathleen's nice. closet is cats. King. Everybody, please, 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 go say hello, go say something. I actually just noticed Kathleen's closet is on vacay until the 10th. So Kathleen, you probably aren't even gonna see this right now, but I hope you're having a good vacation. Enjoy. And Wherever the travels may take you, I hope you're having a wonderful time. And everybody, since it probably doesn't help to share her stuff if she's on vacation, go comment on her Meet the Posture and say, have a great vacation. Have a nice vacation. I wish, I, could, I, wish I knew where she have was. Have one of those little like free cocktails for me with those little yeah. umbrellas in it. Yeah. So Kathleen, I hope you're having fun wherever 
wherever you are. And thank you for being a Valentine. Yes. You so, so, so appreciate. Yes, we do, yes. Kathleen. Thank you. So we're going to jump into the sales, 27th through 2nd. I'm going to talk about eBay first. And after all the sales, we did check the P.O. box. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying, go please check the P.O. box. Yes, and we so did. we did. We actually just went before filming. So if we don't show something and you did send something, it's just not here yet. Yes. Because we just checked it this is 10 minutes ago. Uh. Like legitimately, we parked my car in the garage, came in and filmed. <laughs> my eBay sales, I had two good ones. And for once, answering a question a buyer asked, stayed off. The once in the blue moon time where that actually like Never happens. So I sold these Anya Heinmark yarn rainbow soft creepers. Look at these cutie patooties. I love these shoes. Adorable. I think these are amazing. Also, if you don't know Anya Heinmark, please write that down. Big Bolo mm -hmm. mainly only makes shoes, or that's like what she's known she for. She has bags too. Yeah. Oh she yes. Has the Those are the face bags. accessories and bags. That's her mm -hmm. big thing. I don't even think she makes clothes, and if so, it'd be like a one-off time. Yeah. But these sold for $389. 99. I, I had them priced at $500. I've had these for about maybe a year, a year and a half. But she's not obviously like Gucci, Fendi, yeah. like some like super, super, mm -hmm. like everybody knows the name. So it took a little bit longer. And they're also unique. So it takes the right person to pay that yes. much money for a yarn slipper. Mm -hmm. But I found that person. That's very true. She asked me to measure the insole. I did. And then she bought them, which is just great. Yay. My other eBay sale was another fantastic one. And this is one that, again, if you haven't heard the name, Write it down, though I will say, if you haven't heard the name, why not? Because on our last dress bolo, this was like one of the first two we talked. I think this yes, was my first one. Was. Mm -hmm. So it is Sue Sartor. Mm -hmm. And this was the Sue Sartor Rare Floral Belted Spring Cotton Dress. I will just let you know, if you find any Sue Sartor, you can put rare in the title of every single one because she, she makes, makes like, like of under 10 of every single one. Mm -hmm. This one was stunning. Oh. Beautiful. White, pink flowers embroidered, green stripes embroidered, just like absolutely so stunning. This sold so for good. my full asking price of $400 on eBay. Oh, so I'm not exactly sure what I Lord. get, but the buyer also even threw in paying shipping. So that's fantastic. Love me some Sue Sato. She wants that dress, which is nice. So jumping into the Poshmark sales for the week. The Poshmark. On 27th, I had one. I had one as well. And my first sale and only sale was this Victoria's Secret strawberry floral print bikini bottom. Oh. And oh so perfectly. Also, this Victoria's Secret strawberry floral print bikini top. So I actually Cute. had listed these separate. You guys might remember this from the consigned shop with us. Mm -hmm. I listed them separate because one was an XL and one's a medium. I know that there are obviously people out there where that is like their yeah. measurements, but obviously like not always. That's not everybody. So I just yeah. thought I'd list them separate in case. And if someone wanted a bundle, they could. Sure mm -hmm. enough, that is what happened. Sold for 50 together and I get 40, but that's... That's a bikini. That's good. For that's a bikini. Suit, that's a really good deal. The bottoms were mm -hmm. brand new and the tops weren't or other way around. But one of them was actually new with tags. Nice. I love Victoria's Secret Swimwear. Cut. Especially so that, oh, that print. Yeah. A strawberry. I love, I love strawberry a strawberry moment. graphic. Okay, my one and only on the 27th was this Cleo Ballack cotton bohemian printed puff sleeve little bluffs. Sold for $47. And I will make thirty-seven sixty. Was that from the consign shop with us? Yes, it was. Nice. I think. Or you from a dress. You I got, got a it dress. at a turnstile. Yeah. Oh yeah, the dress was from though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on the twenty-eighth, I had four. A little bit better of a day. Deuce. My Ooh, first dude. sale, another bolo, if you don't know it, it is called Maui Jim. Oh, Lord. These are the Maui Jims MJ252 16C MJ Antique Gold something something sunglasses. <laughs> I don't remember what any what of these What kind of, like, geographical coordinates? You look up the nonsense. style number and you just mm -hmm. copy what comes up because, like, what other keywords? Like, I don't know. Hawaii. So these sold for 20 <laughs> and I get 16 but I will let you know, Maui Jim sunglasses are, like, $300. We might be talking a bit more about Maui Jims in an upcoming video in a couple weeks, but just for now, know that it is a bolo. Very expensive. Good sunglass brand. Then Anne Marie popped into my closet. So hello Anne Marie and thank you Anne very Marie. much. And she purchased the very adorable Vince cable knit sequin pullover sweater. Oh, it was just like a white cable knit so sweater cute. with sequins and like the little cable knits. Yeah. Super cute. That was really, like subtle, mm -hmm. but if you like turned in the light, someone would be like, oh, 
Look at her. She's shining. Look at her. I love that. <laughs> this sold for $27 and I get $21.60. So thank you very much, Anne Marie, for watching and for purchasing. Thank you. Then I sold the vintage floral bee painted mini doll size dresser. Aww. Every time I have these, they do really Cute. well. I think people use them for like little trinkets. Or well, like you could put like things. art, cra like art supplies or crafts. You like if could. you were like someone that mm -hmm. did jewelry, you could put like beads. Oh my God, or if you were patterns. like a sewer and you put like buttons in them. Yeah. <gasps> so sold for twenty two. I get seventeen sixty. But at the bins, a dollar to two dollars. Easy peasy. Then I saw these Sam Edelman and the leather scallop slides. These are really cute, but they had like pretty like noticeable footprints in them. So I couldn't consign them. And I just kept marking down because I was like, okay, come on, go, go, go. So they sold for thirteen. I get seven oh seven. So call me Debbie. <laughs> Hi Debbie. Hi, I'm De Ryan. Hi Debu. Hi Debbie. I'm Ryan. <laughs> okay, my one and only on the 28th. You can call me Debbie as well. Was this Olympics? 2000 I thought you had two. I did have two. So you're a liar. Like Debbie. Okay, my first on the 28th was this Free People Blue Main Squeeze Thermal Top. I have not sold one of these in forever. I feel like I haven't come across one in an eternity. Mm -hmm. Like one of the newer ones. This one sold for twenty dollars, and I make sixteen. Was Ben's find? Easy money. Probably now I'd take them to the consignment store because like they have definitely cooled off. Mm -hmm. But I remember the day. Yeah. I remember the time. And then I sold this Olympics 2002 Vintage Assault Lake City Felice Vest. This sold for $20 and I will make 16 Nice. On the yeah. 29th, went back to being a bad week. I had one. I had three. My only sale was this J. Crew Liberty London Claire Oud Floral Oud. Button Top. <laughs> This was also from the consign shop with us. So once again, you put more thought, put more like brain yeah. power into mm -hmm. what you pick up and it usually does sell quicker because you yes. put so much thought into it. So this sold for 30, I get 24. I maybe paid around like 10, 11 for this, but I knew it would sell in under a month and it mm -hmm. did. So to double my money in under a month, I'll take it. Like, yeah, I'm not exactly. mad about that. Easy sale. Yeah. Okay, my first on the 29th was again, Call Me Debbie. This Notori Multicolored Floral Tiered Dress. This was an extra small or like a zero petite. Mm -hmm. It was tiny. She was really tiny. Um, sold for $17. I make $13.68. was a bit fine. So it was silk. It really didn't weigh that much. I think it would have done better if it was like not that small. Yeah. If it was probably. like a more well, and just petite size. period is kind of true. It's hard to sell. Yeah. Okay. Then I saw this Herb Outfitters denim trim taupe brown hat. Sold for $28. I will make a 1942. That was out of my personal collection. I'm just not a hat person anymore. I'm just not like the bohemian. You actually, you kind of sometimes are a trucker hat person now. I do love you a trucker hat. I will Western say, I do era. love a trucker hat. Yeah, we've evolved just a little bit. And you're yeah. more of a trucker. I kind of have been. You drove right back to Iowa. Yeah, just toot toot all the way. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ryan with his Aviator Nation hat on. Uh -uh. I love that hat, man. That thing is so comfortable. Anyway, for my own personal collection, off she goes. I hope whoever buys her. Better than sitting in the closet. Enjoys her, that's very true. And then my last one, the 29th, was this Y2K vibrant multicolored long sleeve Karen Kane mesh top. Sold for $23. I will make $18.40. I think I'm gonna ask something that I'm kind of thinking, and I feel like other people might be thinking too. When you have your Y2K things, mm -hmm. do you always put the name of the brand in the title? No. Okay. I never do. I just remember well, that, that was the Karen did. Kane. Oh, blast. you didn't. You're that's just it. saying. No, that. I just knew that that's what You're the brand just was. Lying again. Call me Debbie. <laughs> Let me go get my Debbie little a liar. Horrible. Let me just then go again, get my Debbie little. Then again, Debbie did tell me she read What's Old Saturday with me last weekend. Um, check the and footage. Guess where she I was, was alone. Not What's Old Saturday. She was at a Denny's. No, I'm just kidding. She was at a KFC. Because that's more important than your child. Yeah, everyone attack her. <laughs> On the thirtieth, I had five. I didn't have any. Okay, and yeah, I have a wound as well. I was picking weeds with a weed picking tool without a glove on. No, we, I didn't burn it with a poker. Yeah. Okay, so on the 30th, my first sale, usually these go for more, but I think it was kind of like the color. J. Crew Long Blazer Duster Vanessa Cardigan. Usually I expect like 40 at the lowest, up yeah. to almost like 60, depending on the color and material. This sold for 19. <laughs> and I get 12.22, but I'm pretty sure this was a bins one, so that's fine. Then I sold the vintage Y2K Encore Tommy Girl embroidered jean shorts. Mm -hmm. For those that didn't know, because a lot of you did know, and thank you for helping me out, but for those that didn't know, if you remember, they say Tommy Girl on the bottom of the leg, and it's like fully factory it's embroidered. It's a really good on. embroidery. Mm -hmm. But the tag said Encore, and I was very confused. Is this like a booty? Is this like. When we say booty, we mean bootleg. Yeah. Is Just it so like by Encore? Did Tommy like sell through them somewhere like i wasn't sure they make their jeans but it is a 90s booty 
I what it was. love that. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Which made me a little, I will say, made me a little nervous to list it. And I was kind of scared someone was going to report me. But luckily, I think if it's, it's gone now. If it's any of the vintage stuff, like, obviously, if it's, like, designer, designer, like, I wouldn't post some, like... Oh, no, yeah. Like Not if it 70s, had, like, a like, fake, fake, fake Louis Vuitton or something. No, no. no. But, like, Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. Or if you found, like, a Calvin Klein or something. Like, yeah. I think, and, like, there is a market for, like, the vintage, like, knockoff yeah. stuff. I'm too. not saying go get, like, a fake Calvin sweatshirt or something. No. no. But if it's, like, this, where it's, like, if a you happen to find one. from the 90s, maybe. Anyways, that's our TED Talk. My next sale was this Vince Silk Button Flower Burst Blouse. So, I sold two Vince items Good. myself in a week. That's kind of wow. crazy. I usually can sign it or real reel it if it seems like they could mark it up, but they mark it super low. Sold for twenty three, and I get eighteen forty, and that is eons more than I would get from consigning it or oh, from sending Lord. it to the real real. So you get it. four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> then I sold this Anthropology Moth Rare Animal Printed Color Block Cardigan. This oh, was. Gorgeous! This was cute. And was somebody had find? thrown it back mm -hmm. at the bins. Like, it was slightly <laughs> pilly when I found it, but, like, not, like... Such a nice sweater. So little pilling that I could have just listed it how it was, and, like, nobody would have cared. So, I don't know why someone threw it back. This sold for $51. <laughs> and I get thirty seven eighty two, so that's great. But that yeah. thing was gorgeous. It was really cute. And last on the thirtieth, this was actually so I did this for the Valentines. We did a revenge of the mixed clothing yes, box. Yes, we did. And I opened mm -hmm. one, and this was actually from that box. So this was Polo Ralph Lauren pink logo embroidered sweater. This sold for nineteen. I get twelve twenty two. So of my like. 60. I already got uh, over a sixth back. Heck yeah. <laughs> sure. Look at that. Then on the 31st, the last day of May, I had three. I had six. My first sale was this pair of American Eagle Highest Rise 90s Boyfriend Jeans. These sold for 29 and I get 23 20 Perpetuating the thought of like, oh, it sometimes is worth paying maybe money. like five and mm -hmm. under for the really trendy ones. I know. Then, a great freaking sale. This is my best sale of the week, but it's not some, like, crazy pair of shoes. Don't worry. <laughs> Anthropology Rare Cecilia Peterson Floral Printed Wide Leg Pants. These were actually on ThreadUp. I had earned some ThreadUp credit, mm -hmm. and on ThreadUp, these were, like, 30 to $35, which, like, I would never pay, like, out of pocket. No. But with my credit, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try them because they're super cute, and mm -hmm. they seemed really rare. So these sold for $110. Oh, I love a good and I sale. Get Man, those so are kind of like few and far between that, numbers, but I love them. And they went quick. Like, I just got those like a month ago, maybe. And my last on the 31st and last of May was this pair of Sam Edelman's Dawson Slide Sandals. There's some other word after that that's cut off that also starts with an S. Maybe it's <laughs> Sandals. Sandals. Sandals, Sandals, Sandals. These sold for 35 and I get 28. Cute. I think I paid like five bucks. Yeah. Easy. Okay. My first on the 31st was a Free People Blue White Sear Sucker. I also cannot see anything. So if I'm like we'll eight into my stuff. phone, that's why. I literally can't read. Really cute pair of little Sear Sucker pants. It sold for 25 I will make 20 Then Miss Bethany popped into my closet and got herself, correct my pronunciation, far the Faherity. Oh, no. Faherty. You should have warned me that we were going to have to know how to say Faherty. I believe that Ferretti? I believe it's actually pronounced Ferretti. And that doesn't make sense to me because there's no letter between the R and the T, but I'm fairly certain multiple of you told me it's like Ferretti. Well, but it's spelt Fahardi. <laughs> Fatuti. Whatever it is. The Ooty Tooty the Ooty Booty Tootie, Tootie Tootie Cooties. Cooties. Um, that's what that was. It was this really cute men's navy blue quilted, a little quarter snap. She got it as like a nice little like a comfy cozy something to throw on. She got it for 40 bucks. I'm going to use a shipping discount. I will make 29.05. When did you just make really up like a discount? We need to make up like a new name for Fahardi, Fahardi, whatever. Like... Australian Eagle Outfitters or something. Literally. So I don't have to keep playing this. Just like, to not even like be close. Like, like I don't have to keep trying to figure out how to say it. Yeah. Literally. Okay, and then next on the 31st for me was this pair of Spanx Thin Stinks beige. Thin Stinks. Thin Stinks. Follow your Thin Stinks. High waisted little shorts. These sold for 20 and I make 16. Then I sold, what did I say? List your Disney stuff. Disney Vintage Y2K Winnie the Pooh golfing visor. This was so cute. This has been fine. Had a little makeup. I have to clean. She's good to go. Wonderful. Brand spanking mm -hmm. new. $20, I will make 16 And then this was a moment. This was the moment. This kind of like saved my little patootie this week. This got my pooper to group. This, as they say. This saved your Fahardi. 
It did save my Fahari, which is wonderful. It was this Anthropology and Jenny Yu blue velvet Isa gown that I got from the bins last time we went. I listed it at like 225 or 215. Somebody offered me 180, which is a wonderfully reasonable offer. I of course accepted. So it was like five, six dollars, and I make 144, mm. which is wonderful. Nice. Yeah. And then this was actually something that I found at a garage sale, which was really fun. Pair Harley Davidson black leather chunky boots. The problem is, is one of the zippers was busted, and I didn't notice it, but. They were these, $5. Yeah, they were really cheap. These still have a really big following, especially on like biker communities and you know, on Depop and stuff. So I just sold them for 35 bucks and just said like, it's really not expensive to like go get a zipper replaced. Yeah. So like, here you go. If somebody bought them, 28, you know, make a little money, call it a day, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. And then on the first, I did not have any. I had two. My first on the first was this AD Architectural Digest graphic printed tote bag. I freaking love these tote bags. The New Yorker. The New York Times, the Architectural Digest, any of those like little trendy, Journal probably makes them. those like little trendy magazines are just like so nice. They have the with nicest the art on them, yes, exactly. This one sold for twenty two dollars because it was just like a little bit more plain one, and I make seventeen sixty. And then this is on a consignment for a lovely dear little friend of mine, Anthropology and Elliot multicolored floral mini dress sold for a hundred dollars, and we will make eighty. The brand's Elliot. Elliot. Oh, 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 okay. I A T. Yeah. So on the second, the last day of what's on Saturday, I only had one. <clears throat> but just as a reminder, we are filming at four fifty p.m. on the second, so there's still a good like six. We have hours a little bit of time. There is still daylight that, to have the money be spent. Yes, which is so nice. So maybe I secretly had like a three thousand dollar sale uh, secretly i found and sold yet. a brick in the next two hours <laughs> yeah so my sale was this pair of everlane easy pull on lightweight pants you guys might remember these from the normal goodwill thrift with us i paid mm -hmm. five bucks minus 25 percent, so four dollars or 20 percent. <laughs> i don't remember what it was but it was like four bucks and these sold for 20 and i get 16 it sounds Cute. low but when i got home and took pictures of them i realized that there was a bleach spot at the front which is so irritating. But, like, I wasn't going to go return them. And, that takes I way mean, too much time. It was, like, mm -hmm. pretty small, but still noticeable. So I just priced them really low. And they actually were doing really good. That was, like, two days ago. And they resold for 20 mm -hmm. And I get 16 But I think Everlane has moved into, like, the American Eagle category of, like, really good just, like, bread and butter. Yeah. Easy 25 to $30. Like, maybe it's a little bit more as, if it's, like, a bag or a pair of shoes It's or not something. as dead as Madewell. No. But it's not... Great. She's not doing amazing. <laughs> so my gross for this week, and this is only Poshmark because eBay blew this way out of the water. My Poshmark was four ninety. Mine was five seven ninety seven. Okay, Richie. Five five, five ninety seven because uh, I can't read. Part, <laughs> You care for at the one. And my nut. I'm not gonna wake the dogs to like put them up, but nut was three ninety two. Mine was four seventy seven. 60. Yeah, so Which definitely fun, leaves a lot to be desired. And I feel like last but, week I was saying like, wow, Poshmark finally took a turn and it's getting better again. Well, she took a turn in the other direction. Put Which... the clown makeup on me. <laughs> Egg wrong. on my face. <laughs> wrong anyway so we're gonna get into the p.o box packages now but oh, for those that so like end your viewership here thank you so much for watching what's on saturday i hope we you guys had a great week and we will see you on tuesday and i hope that we all have a better sales weeks next week yes if you had one like me. But we're gonna jump into P.O. Box packages now. We have, I would say, maybe like six or seven. We'll try to not like be too, too slow and too long with these because sometimes mm -hmm. this can get like really, really long. Rambling. We'll try to not oogle and ogle over everything. But we have a stack of them that are directly from Anthropology. I could guarantee that Anthro is not like sending us PR. No. So we're gonna open them and see. I assume somebody must have like ordered something for us, which yes. I am extremely excited. That like tickles. All kinds of yeah. fancies. That's going to be the last ones that we open. So let's just jump in to the first ones. Yay. This first one is from Christina. So she is from California. California. Much. Oh, no. I was going to say much warmer than here. Not now. Not really. Holy. It's hot. It's here. hot. This one only has my name on it, but I know some people just do that. But that's why this is one of the ones that I'm going to open. Yeah. Oh, there is a quite long note. So we will read that quick and be our so Christina wrote us a super, super sweet note. She's yeah. from California. She actually found us through Lori. 
Which, which is, is not oh, surprising to me. I love Miss Lori Tata. Lori Tata. She is a huge okay. coach lover, and I believe that these items in here are coach items that she was just kind of like getting out of her collection. What an icon. She also said she loves mid century modern and loves to watch us and that we put a smile on her face. Aww. So thank you so much, Christina. Thank you, Christina. This is a really sweet note. And this is we really sweet. still keep every, every single note and letter that you guys sent. Single letter, note, child's drawing. All of it <laughs> yes. lives in a binder. Yes. I know. We've gotten a couple children drawings. I and have we had them. We, we got them when we were at that. Debbie's and we put them on Debbie's fridge for a yeah, long time. Yeah, they were adorable. We had like friendship bracelets. Yes. Oh, all yes. the ephemera, all the things. Yes. So let's see. If you're from California, maybe you know Vons. We don't have Vons. No, we don't. <gasps> oh, she's cute. Ooh. Okay. So first up, we have this beautiful black coach wallet. This is like so Stunning condition. She said she takes care of her stuff. Oh yeah, she even it. has this like packed and protected. This is gorgeous and this oh, leather this is, is really cute. super freaking nice. What is that one? And then this is a little card holder and it says coach right in the front, but the inside, if I can show it off, is the- Oh, the monogram. Is the C monogram. Oh, these are yeah. oh, there super it is. cute. Yeah, these are like these are totally nice. actually even like my style I, being black. Funny enough, have a coach card holder that I use legitimately every single day. Yeah. It's the coach one with the little like Mickey Mouse in Cinderella's Castle because, like, yes, I had to buy something from that. Yes. I use it all the time. So the coach card holders are nice. I can attest. Yes. Are phenomenal. They thank are you so, nice. so, so much, Christina. You, Christina. These are so freaking nice. And Will says thank you as well. When he you, has been sitting down here smelling them. When you were purging, I'm so glad you thought about us. That thank is so you. kind. And your note was so, so nice. Yes, it was. I will just open the couple in front of me and then Ryan can open the couple by him. Yeah. And then we will move on to the anthro ones. So this one is from me. Mirna, and mm. she is from Texas, so we're moving to the bottom Texas. of the U.S. All oh the way gosh, across the country. <sighs> so we got a really cute oh, note cute. with a little, like, Caribbean envelope. Jack and Ryan. Let's take a peek. The card is really Sand Surf Tropics Island Life. This is cute. Debbie would be, like, Debbie dying over this. Yeah. So we're going to read her note, of course, first. She also wrote a super sweet oh, note, and you, this is something that apparently she spotted at Goodwill and thought of me for. Oh, so I'm, I'm excited. I hope it's extremely spooky. excited. So I'm assuming mug. I'm getting. I'm getting. A, I'm getting a. My psychic intuition is kind of kicking in. I'm feeling like this might be a mug. Spirit is telling me that this is a vessel. <laughs> so let's take a peek. This. This is a vessel for drinking a brown it's substance. Liquid. I feel like in the I'm morning. Getting... I feel like you can coffee you can flavor. Add sugar. You can add cream. Why not tea? Why not? Why not cream? Why not tea? Oh. 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 Okay, this is freaking adorable. Oh, and the little boo. Okay, so this, this is, is adorable. adorable. Yeah. This is my first ooky spooky kooky mug of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I so love this one. this, I could guarantee, probably was originally maybe at Home Goods. I feel like I've seen one like this before. Mm -hmm. Super cute, and it's even new with tags. It's so nice. And she said there's a chip on it, which this might be, but honestly, sometimes with the like glazing coating, they just like miss a spot. So and like with the white. But either way, doesn't matter to me. Yeah, this the white is you can't even tell. It's so, so cute. cute. Dishwasher safe and microwave safe. Perfect. If it cannot be one. put in the dishwasher, yeah. it cannot come into this home. That's me. Oh. Oh. That's so cute. Thank you so, Thank so you. much, Mirna. This is That's adorable. So nice. I love it. Next up for me, this has like... I don't know if that's like dangerous. I probably shouldn't do that. It's just like it's another stained glass window. <laughs> this is from Jari. Thank you, Jari. I see an inflatable. What in the Lord's name? Is there no card? What is it? It's an inflatable moose head. <laughs> we are gonna put this downstairs in our bar. This makes me so happy. Oh my god, look at that. Is there no words? It's just like, here's a moose head. That's honestly iconic and Jazzy, hilarious. Thank you for this. Oh no, there's a card, Oh, good. Ryan. oh my god, oh my I'm gosh. so sorry. Okay, Bo. Okay. That's a gag if I've ever seen one. So she's so also funny. from California. Okay, so Yari also wrote us a super nice card. She passed on the tradition. It is from she passed on her cards. own personal collection, Aww. as she wrote. I love that. And it has been over her bar for decades. So thank you so much. I am so excited. I didn't know these even existed, but now that I do, I'm like... Yes, and Debbie has a, and now we have one. Has a pump. 
So perfect. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Thank you so much. Can we, That's do you know what we're going to do? Our downstairs is like Minnesota outdoor theme. It's so like perfect. vintage Minnesota kind of up north. Yeah. We're going to put like Christmas lights on him at like Christmas. Yes. The antlers. Which also reminds me actually, this next week. This is going to be fun. Um, I'll remind later in the week. But on the second channel, this next week, this next Friday, is going to be an updated house tour. Because you guys have not seen it since like the first two weeks. <gasps> oh, and it is way different. So when we do it, what should we name him? What should we call him? Um, Tell us below. What yes. should we name the bar moose? Hot dog water. Hot dog water. Hot dog water the moose. That's it. Hot dog water. Perfect. For those of you that don't know, Hot Dog Water is a character from the newest Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. And they is don't- it? Yeah, they don't like give her a name. And she I like- I think I know it she from some other the, show. Like, she saves everybody every single time she's in the episode and they like don't call her by anything other than Hot Dog Water. So the next <laughs> package is from Roxanne. Oh. Roxanne. But it's Roxana. So this is from Roxana. Okay. I just wanted to go. <laughs> Um, this is the part of the video when we kind of loosen yeah. the strings a little bit. She <laughs> is from South Carolina. Carolina. So let's take a peek. Mike is really interested. Okay, Mike. So either she probably has a dog. Ooh, Ooh. I see okay. something fun. I already see some nightmare for Christmas. I am keeping my ears to the grindstone Ooh, my eyes to the bunch. internet. Oh, About. I see why Mike is sniffing. You just made Mike stay. Okay. So, Jack, Ryan, and Mike from Roxana. Let's take a peek at the card first, of course. Hello. Cute. This is also very up Debbie's vibe. I know, Debbie this is, is adorable. Debbie is obsessed with like, the sea. It's handmade. Actually, yeah. I think it is. It's be, like, adorable. I wonder if, yeah. Okay, so it says, happy birthday, Mike. So there's some gifts for Mike in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It also says that Roxy and her grandson, who is right in between our age, I know he's a little older than me. I'll and be he's 25 a little younger November. than me. <laughs> and I just, I just turned 26. So he's like right smack in the middle. So Dalton and Roxy watch every video and that makes yeah. me so freaking happy. So Thank hello you. to both Roxy and Dalton. Let's take Mike's stuff out first. I can see it. And then he can like go sit by it and wait until after. And just like have a little freak out oh, for Oh, I used to get oh, these for Lord. him all the freaking time. He's gone Good and off. fun. These are like little like rawhide things with kind of like bacon. Very cool. Wrapped around them. I'm gonna give him one after. Oh, Maybe yeah. I'll get a little footage. And soft and chewy. Yay! Will would probably love nice? these. Yeah. Would you like a soft? Happy belated birthday, Mike, with your little evil lights on eyes. <laughs> and we will share birthday gifts with Will, right, Will? Um, yum, 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 yum. Okay. okay. So there's three things in here. We got Ryan, Jack. What am I thinking? And then we got, wait, let's do maybe. Oh, let's do the big one let's first. Let's do the big one first. This one doesn't have anything, so it might just be like for both of us. Let's take a peek. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's an Afghan. Funny enough, this matches every single color it's in our a, house. It's a blanket. Oh, this is amazing. You made this by hand? This is insane. This is so nice. Oh, and it smells so nice. And like we just said, our theme downstairs is like Minnesota, and this is very like lake colored. This is gonna fit perfectly. Yes, it absolutely Thank is. You oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Much, Roxanne. I think we should open these at the exact same time. Okay. Because they're let's probably do it. like the same thing. Same, but maybe similar, but similar different, different colors or something. I don't know. Okay, mine is a little towel. Mine. Oh, oh it's like she... a scrubby sponge. Okay, this is a godsend because we literally never have enough of these. This is amazing. This is like a dish towel. Thank you, Lord. Look at how cute this is. This is Joanne's fabric. I can even name oh, it. Oh, look at that. Oh, cute. What a perfect month. For I too. know. Happy Pride, everybody. Oh, look so at how adorable must, these I are. I think you can snap them around like the handle of your like fridge or oven. And use them as like a hand wipe. And then you don't have to get the graphic dirty. You just get like, you wipe your hand here. This is the handiest thing Roxy, I've ever seen in my this life. is Roxy, so... these are amazing. And I love this Joanne print. This Joanne fabrics print. I love print. these. These are like Mickey Mouse ones. I always wish Look I had the cute. talent to use the beautiful Joanne Halloween prints for something. I but I don't. Like, but I don't Roxy know how to does. use anything with the fabric. But Roxy does. These are beautiful. These are amazing. You, the blanket is amazing. Thank you to both Roxy. Oh. Handy as I'll get out. I also got this handy as I'll get yes. out. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so oh much. These are I so like sweet you and so you're also so talented. Thank like, you. I could never. I pray for your fingers and I'm sending you no carpal tunnel energy. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so this next one is from Miss Stephanie and it's from, oh, hey, wait. What? This is from, um, like two cities over. Yeah, we go to this city a lot. Huh, interesting. Okay, so we'll see what neighbor is sending us a little piece of something. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so we have a little card. Oh, oh. 
That is so adorable. Ugh. Oh my gosh, see what was I talking about? Just shredding it, ripping the envelope That's open. Okay, card. love the card. Adorable, so much fun. Oh, 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 we know who this is. I know is. exactly we who know this who is. is, I just didn't recognize the last this name. Is. This is from Spreading Cheer. This is Spreading Cheer, yeah, Stephanie. Yeah, they are neighbors. I she actually just saw her in person like two weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> we bump into each other all the time. This She's is so sweetheart. cute. Her and her son like recently. Oh, this is so this is adorable. cute. Oh she got it in a mystery box, she said. This is so... Okay, you'll have to hold on to this for like Christmas. I know, that's actually so cute. And both Ryan and I have actually been getting a lot more into like button-ups and stuff. Yes. So this is like perfect. that would be a really good like little Christmas Eve. Stephanie and Charlie, thank, thank you, you so both. Much. Oh we gosh. appreciate it. This is so adorable. a little gift from Let's, down the block, not literally, but just like Mike. They do, just like Mike. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna quick grab the anthro ones. I gotta like cut the cameras we got to cut the because they're like a bigger box. The boxes are huge. Yeah. All right, so the and packages are secured. We have three. One is smaller, and two are quite large. I will leave mine down here, but trust me, it is the same, same size, size big box. So they aren't addressed, like they're addressed to both of us and they're directly from Anthro. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping there's a note in here because yes. the labels do not say like who sent them. No, there's no name. So, so I'm gonna yeah. open a small one first. Do that, maybe that's and what they're then be like a, like a we, And I will say they're also really like light. So I don't think that we're gonna be sitting here for like a half a an jacket. hour opening oh, like I a bunch I hope it's of, like Christmas ornaments. That'd be so much fun. That'd be really cute. Okay. This might be a note. Oh, heck yes. There's oh, perfect. Right away. Okay, so this is another freaking gift from A&B Thrifting. She has spoiled this absolutely I still this year. do not oh know gosh. this individual's name. No. They have never come forward. They're like mm -hmm. this mystery person who is more kind than anybody. Literally. Sending us all this these This person sent us things. a very generous Home Depot gift card that we used to help us get some outdoor furniture. Yes. This person has sent us, I believe, the coffee table we have in our every room. single day and now these three large packages so please 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 come forward who are you is your <laughs> name a or is it b is it both are you two a people who are you like a, a for like a group of people are you like a are you anonymous <laughs> <laughs> let's anyway. see what's in this let's see what we have let's see what a and b they has don't... gifted us the box with today the boxes do not so we got this little box. It seems to be some kind of probably like something fragile. So like a figurine. Glassware? Like, dish or maybe? Or an ornament. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect that oh, I opened this I one. I love. I love this collection. I wish I knew the name. I just call it like the tile collection. Oh, this is adorable. A little highball glass. A J little like whiskey glass. Oh my gosh, and it has the sp I love this. That's beautiful. <gasps> this is so that's stunning. So oh my gosh, I hope there's like an R one in one of these. Oh my gosh. Because this okay. is beautiful. It's also so nice. It's heavy. So I will take, thankfully, this is packaged wonderfully. So yes. if this is all glassware, like I am really not worried about anything getting broken. Yes, but it's not full. There's like one thing in it. And yeah. it has the same messages on it. It's so the same it's thing. So A and B once again. From A and B thrifting. Okay, and it's the same thing. Huh. Okay, so let's see what the bottom says. It's, just, see four, it's just four R glasses. Okay, oh, so I was be. right. It is a little <laughs> set of four. Let's see what we have. <gasps> oh, oh, these are beautiful. Cute. Look at these. Oh, I they have this like green, blue, like pearlescence Ew. to them. With this the is gold, stunning. Like trim. I actually have. These are beautiful. Brian and I each have a champagne glass from Anthro, I think from the same collection. Yeah. It's the green look with the gold. This is also a super nice collection. These are so dang. stunning. Yeah. 24 karat gold. Decoration. Hand wash recommended. Hand wash recommended. I like her. No, I love we you. will we'll hand wash the gold ones. So, yeah, these are stunning. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. These will look beautiful. Once down again, down doing the absolute Can most. Can be girl, or Eve. them. Or him. individual, please do not feel like you need to keep sending us things. In fact, feel like you've done enough because you've done more than enough. Thank you. So the last item looks to be another set. These look Ooh. like <gasps> are these margarita glasses? Bigger and taller. Maybe they're all like flower vases. Oh, instead of margarita oh, no, glasses. I think these are margarita glasses. Oh my gosh, it's from like the same color. Ah! Oh, these are beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So we have a bar downstairs now and we could totally hope. Do you know what I'm gonna put in these? Little fancy, fizzy, like pink cocktails yes. when my friends come over. Some Wait. rose. Let's cheers. What do they sound like? Wait, do it again. Wait, we gotta do it like right here. So you guys can get it. 
They're beautiful. Yeah, um, You're getting dizzy. These are so. <laughs> these are stunning. So beautiful. These are so and pretty. And saying, yeah, did you? I love these again. And thank you for the J glass. I know the J glass is adorable. <laughs> this is so cute. Maybe they were like sold out of the other ones because okay. I know that this collection has been around for a while. Yes. This is gorgeous. I These are gorgeous. I am obsessed. Those are gorgeous. We are gonna, one of my very good best friends is coming from Denver, and this is how we'll have cocktails every night. Yeah, actually. We'll in, just make little cocktails. In all just, of like, June, in a lot of people from Iowa in Ryan's life are visiting for the first time. It's visiting like Minnesota all my good friends for the are coming first in the next, like, two months. So we're really excited. We're going to be hosting a lot and using our bar more and stuff. So oh, this I'm so excited. is perfect. So thank you again, A and B Thrifting. Oh my gosh, I thank can't, you. like, say it enough. You're the nicest nicest person so sweet thank it's you so, so much. generous and sweet of you <sighs> and thank you to everybody who yes. sent us something today i know as Roxy always and dalton and as always everybody else these are as, so always, sweet. as always as always <laughs> never feel like you need to send us anything ever mm -hmm. ever 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 no, nobody owes us anything ever nope. but when you do we appreciate it so much it's very the cards wonderful. are always so sweet they really put a huge smile on our face yes, they do. honestly we've had a very tiny little like uptick in some more like harsh comments lately so I would it's like to say you. that reading some of these like letters or the really nice comments yeah, that genuinely help. do say really nice things that I can tell are really like genuine and kind and heartfelt, like mm -hmm. really make it all more like worth it and it easier to does. do. So absolutely, thank does. you guys so much. It really means the world. Like we're not just saying it. It's no, true. We 100% mean it. Every single time. Okay. We have quite a mess to clean up and an inflatable moose to hang on the wall. And, and we're hosting people tomorrow. So we do need to clean up <laughs> right now. Yeah, so we're going to go do that but i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys had a great week and we will see you next week or something or another i know we have a plan but i don't have it in my head okay. but we will see you next tuesday goodbye goodbye